the stunning nature of how Lizzo and her management team treated their performers seems to go against everything Lizzo stands for publicly, while privately she weight shames her dancers and demeans them in ways that are not only illegal, but absolutely demoralizing. <laughs> I didn't expect all of this, did y'all? Not Miss Lizzo creating a hostile work environment. All right, so we got the full details for this lawsuit against Lizzo by her backup dancers. Make sure y'all like the video and subscribe, all right? So the original story was broken by Variety, and that's where we are right now. But first off, I want to say, look at this picture that they used on the Variety website. <laughs> okay, like this picture, come on. Y'all could have found a better picture than this of Lizzo, all right? Y'all already trying to disrespect a woman with that picture. But let's get into this. So it says Lizzo and her production company are being accused of sexual harassment and creating a hostile work environment by a trio of the team's former dancers, according to a legal complaint filed Tuesday. Okay. You know, now, I thought it was just an unsafe work environment or a hostile work environment, but they talking about harassment? Let's get into it. The lawsuit independently viewed by Variety was filed in Los Angeles County Superior Court against Lizzo. Real name, Melissa Vivian Jefferson. Her production company, Big Girl, Big Torin Incorporated, BGBT, and Charlene uh, Quigley, captain of Lizzo's dance team. The dancers, plaintiffs, Ariana Davis, Crystal Williams, and Noel Rogers, so these are the people who are filing the complaint against Lizzo, have alleged sexual, religious, and racial harassment, disability discrimination, assault, and false imprisonment amongst a slew of other charges. Oh, yeah, so this means they sat down with a lawyer and they explained everything they went through and the lawyers was like all right this is what this is called this is what this is called <laughs> you know so i'm not saying it's not true but i just know how you know these type of things start and uh it will be up to lizzo's lawyer to combat whether it was harassment or discrimination or things like that but i'm just letting y'all know how it goes uh let's continue one of the most striking details of the suit alleges dancers were pressured due to fear of losing their jobs to touch new dancers during a live sex show in Amsterdam's Red Light District, notoriously known for its prostitution, sex theaters, new bars, and clubs. Wow. Now, now you know, sometimes when these people be performing, they get too into the show. And this sounds like Lizzo may allegedly was getting a little too into it. And I don't know what, what was Lizzo doing during this, you know, this situation. But let's continue. Uh, the main event of the night was a club called uh, Benabar, where patrons are allowed to interact with completely nude performers. The lawsuit states while at Benabar, things quickly got out of hand. Lizzo began inviting cast members to take turns touching the nude dancers, catching <laughs> launched from the performers <laughs> and eating bananas protruding from the performers. <laughs> so Lizzo was getting down like that, eating up <laughs> out of somebody's Jesus. Lizzo then turned her, turned her attention to Miss Davis and began pressuring Miss Davis to touch the breast of one of the new women performing at the club. Lizzo began leading a chant, goading Miss Davis. Miss Davis said three times, loud enough for everyone to hear, I'm good, expressing her desire not to touch the performer. So basically, Lizzo was chanting, making fun of her for not wanting to, you know, touch the girl. Which... This sounds crazy, and I don't know if Lizzo was allegedly drunk, 
I don't know if Lizzo is one of these people that got to take, you know, some type of extra thing so she can get on stage. You know, some people, they're always intoxicated when they touch the stage. And maybe that's why Lizzo may or may not have done something like this, which is it's just crazy. Right. To hear it. Um, the complaint continues. Plaintiffs were aghast with how little regard Lizzo showed for the bodily autonomy of her employees and those around her, especially in the presence of many people whom she employed. A representative for Lizzo did not immediately respond to Variety's request for comment. Plaintiffs also alleged Lizzo again invited them out without telling them they would be attending a new cabaret bar, robbing them of the choice not to participate. The lawsuit states, I didn't even know Lizzo be getting down like this. Like, I didn't know Lizzo like going out to like those type of clubs and stuff. But and I don't know if that's Lizzo, you know, uh, trying to be open and express herself. But she does seem like the type of person who likes to uh, hang on the wild side. Right. I'm not saying that any of these allegations are true or false. I'm just talking about what I, I've seen from Lizzo. She do seem like a wild girl, but I didn't think she was this wild. OK. Another particular instance accuses Quigley, the dance captain, who also doubled as a judge on Lizzo's Amazon reality show, Watch Out for the Big Girls in 2021, of pushing her Christian beliefs onto dancers, according to the suit. After discovering that Davis was a virgin, Quigley routinely discussed the subject brought it up in interviews and even posted about it on social media broadcasting an intensely personal detail about miss davis to the world quigley allegedly referred to davis as a non-believer according to the suit and was quoted saying no job and no one will stop me from talking about the lord now talking about the lord is one thing but well hold on if she a virgin isn't that supposed to be godly <laughs> that's that's number one but number two you know talking about your religion is one thing but when you try to push it on people and unfortunately as a christian i know other christians who do that where it's like you you just you you're trying too much to try to convert somebody your beliefs is your belief so i think that's the most believable thing from this and i'm not saying nothing else wasn't believable but that's something i think we all have seen you know in life just these people who are just super religious and they want everybody to think with their same mindset okay um quigley did not immediately return variety's request for comment the accusations against lizzo also included calling attention to one of the dancers weight gain after calling her out for not being committed to her role lizzo talking about people's weight okay um in professional dance a dancer's weight gain is often seen as a dancer getting lazy or worse off as a performer also i thought a lot of lizzo's dancers were heavy set and i thought that's what she wanted right i thought that's you know a, a part of her show lizzo and Miss Scott's questions about Miss Davis's commitment to the tour were thinly veiled concerns about Miss Davis's weight gain, which Lizzo had previously called attention to after noticing it at a South by Southwest music festival. The lawsuit states, although Lizzo and Miss Scott never explicitly stated it, these questions accompanied by Lizzo's statements made after the South by South music festival gave Miss Davis the impression that she needed to explain her weight gain and disclose intimate personal details about her life in order to keep her job. All right, we almost at the end, y'all. But <laughs> I didn't expect all of this. Did y'all? I didn't even read over it. You know, I just go live and I, I kind of just kind of wing it. I didn't know it was this serious. The complaint additionally states that Davis was fired in May. For recording a meeting where Lizzo had given out notes to dancers about their performances. William states she was publicly fired due to budget cuts, but the suit points out that no one else was fired that day. Before that, Williams claims 
She has spoken up at a meeting in which Lizzo accused the dancers of drinking before performances. Rodriguez reportedly complained to the manager about the decision of publicly fire Williams. So she probably just had an issue with her getting publicly fired and embarrassed, right? An intimidation tactic that Lizzo rep repeatedly used with dancers during an April 27th meeting during which she told the team she had eyes and ears everywhere. According to the complaint, Rodriguez resigned as a result of Davis and Williams firings. And look, if that was the energy in the air, she was probably about to get fired anyway. So she just left on her own terms. All right. And to wrap this up in a statement shared with Variety, the dancer's attorney, Rom Zambrano, commented, The stunning nature of how Lizzo and her management team treated their performers seems to go against everything Lizzo stands for publicly. While privately, she weight shames her dancers and demeans them in ways that are not only illegal, but absolutely demoralizing. Wow. Now, first off, obviously, the most egregious thing we heard in this whole thing was what happened at this nightclub in Amsterdam with the nude dancers. That is crazy. And, you know, if that's true, Lizzo, you're going to have a long day. Because this other stuff, see, you could have you could have got away with just giving some money and maybe it wouldn't have got to the public. You know, OK. They mad, you weight shamed them, you was hard on them as a boss, you know, you fired somebody publicly. You know, let's be honest, a lot of people in the entertainment world, they do stuff like this. So let's not act like this is brand new. It's a lot of people getting pressured to stay in shape so they can keep a dancing job. It's a lot of people out here uh, trying to put their religious beliefs on people. And look. It's a lot of people who are hypocrites. It's a lot of people, what they say publicly is not who they are behind the scenes. So everything after that Amsterdam thing, she could have probably just cut a check and it would have been over with. But that Amsterdam stuff, oh no. You know, you're going to have to cut a really, really, really big check for this and everybody is going to put you on blast. And the saddest part is, if it is true, think about everything we know about Lizzo. This is the girl who cries when she's weight shamed. This is the girl who is always fighting against everybody's perception of what beauty is. And to think that she might be doing this behind closed doors is astonishing. OK, let me know what y'all think about this. Uh, Be very detailed because this is going to be a long situation. If you ask me for Lizzo, make sure you like the video and subscribe. This picture of Lizzo is still crazy, though. <laughs> I'll see y'all next time. Peace.